Hey, how you doing? Interesting. Ah, it's been an uh, interesting week. I already did another vlog a couple days ago. I never put it up. <laughs> I don't think I need to at this point. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm reading a book called The Most Dangerous Animal. It's about human beings, and it's about the the uh, the question behind it is why war. It's a really eye-opening book. It goes into all sorts of reasons why the human animal is the warring animal, even beyond what chimpanzees do, which they have battles. They do raids and they have battles, but the human, of course, has taken it much further. And I'm just now getting into the part of the book where he's talking more about the fact that as humans, we have a side of us that can perform unspeakable acts on someone else. And yet, on the other side of the same human, and that we all have this dichotomy, we abhor the killing of our own kind. We, we, we are horrified by it, and yet we are drawn to do it. Explains a lot. <laughs> Even the most peaceful person, I would imagine, could have a murderous thought. Uh, but murder and war are not the same. And he kind of breaks it down pretty well. It's a good book. I suggest you get it. Read it. It's, it's, it talks about um, biological reasons, genetic reasons. how in the process of natural selection we're built this way on purpose to be able to be capable of war and yet be horrified by it. <laughs> that the human can engage in such a, an elaborate self-deception that they can be pro-war and deceive themselves into thinking that real human beings with value are going to be killed because of that war. That's interesting to me. Interesting. Interesting. Because if you're going to have a website about peace, you better know about war. I've also ordered a copy of The Art of War. I feel I should read that too. I have to know war up close and personal before I can fight for peace. <laughs> I, I love that phrase, fight for peace. It's like, what? Interesting stuff. 